So let's talk about honesty in practical ways really quick. We're just gonna, we're gonna finish off today by talking about some ways that we can promote honesty in our homes, okay? Um, so here's some practical things that we can do, and these are just bullet points. We're gonna go real quick through these. Um, be tactful, but be truthful. So he kind of mentioned earlier that we need to tell the truth, but we need to tell the truth in love. Don't forget that telling the truth and being honest does not give you a free pass to just be mean to people in your home. And sometimes it's like, well, that's the truth. No, that's not the way that truth should be shared. If you just call your wife fat, that's abuse, okay? That's, that's not telling the truth, okay? So I don't care what question she asks you, you be very careful and thoughtful about what you say. Because a moment, a word can stick with this person the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. I watched my mom go through it year after year after year. So tactful and truthful. That's right. Number two, say what you mean clearly. If we say what we mean clearly, then there will be less opportunity for misunderstandings that can be perceived as lies. So make sure that we are saying exactly what we mean and saying it very clearly. All right, number three, if you make a threat, you know, if you touch that one more time, I'm gonna chop your hand off. If you make a threat, you have to carry it out. No, don't, don't, don't cut <laughs> so anyone's don't hand off. So don't make that threat, okay? <laughs> don't make that. <laughs> don't make that threat. Um, but, but you know, we do as parents, like I've, I've seen this watching, you know, at the park or wherever we are and you see parents who are like giving these crazy threats to their toddlers. Like, I'm going to kill you if you do that. Like I have heard parents say that I will kill you if you do da da da. That, oh my gosh, it's so terrible. But remember that if we're making a threat, if we're saying something, we're supposed to carry it out. So be careful what you say and what consequences you say that you're going to dole out and then make sure that you do what you say, what you say you will do. So if you, if you tell your kid, hey, if you do such and such, this is the consequence, this is the repercussion. If you don't do that, you're a liar. Yeah. And they've learned very quickly that you are a person who does not follow through on your word. So whatever the repercussion is, and we have repercussions for certain things in our house that, you know what, is a lot more inconvenient for me to follow through. Yes. Now I've got more work to do because I've got to work around this situation because of what you've done. Hey, following through is hard, but it, it means that I'm a person of my word, that you're a person of your word. Yeah. Praise honesty, even if you don't like the truth. So sometimes our kids are going to come and they're going to tell us something that we don't want to hear but it's good that they're telling the truth. So make sure that you point that out. I'm really proud of you for coming and telling me this. I know this was a hard thing for you to say, and I'm really, really impressed that you told me the truth. Now we might have to deal with the thing that they told us, but at least they're telling the truth. So praise that honesty. Don't overreact to the truth. And we've talked about overreactions, haven't we? Um, when they talk to us, don't flip out, okay? Um, stay cool, be cool, and listen to the truth. Don't omit truth yourself. Like sometimes something happens at our home and then later on we're with friends and we tell them the story of what happened but we omit the parts that make us look bad, right? They see that, that's not promoting honesty. We need to tell the truth and tell all the truth. Also exaggeration, this is my problem. So I have to like, I'll say an exaggeration and then I have to correct myself and be like, well it wasn't a million, <laughs> it was more like five. <laughs> So we have to be honest all the time, and that will promote honesty. Um, and so don't over-exaggerate, and lastly, model honesty yourself. So in every aspect of your life, we need to model honesty, even with the IRS. Okay, In every aspect. Our kids are watching. They see exactly what we're doing. So make sure that you are being honest in your business dealings, in your time with your friends. Make sure that you're being honest with your spouse. Don't lie to your spouse and your child knows exactly what the truth is and you're lying right in front of them. This does not promote honesty and it certainly does not promote unity, but it divides and breaks relationships.